Okay, welcome to the first video on the options data analysis for Sierra Chart and Ninja Trader. This is a, a new package of studies for these two platforms, um, which are broadly used by day traders uh, trading e mini ES. And basically the, the idea here is to uh, not only have all the web terminal from imini.today, but also the analysis and metrics which I post daily on my Substack uh, to have them all in one place, but also, uh, which I will try to explain in this video, we have this new feature uh, the main one, uh, which is auto-generated um, trading plan, uh, which basically takes all the most important information and puts it into uh, one straightforward, simple to uh, interpret uh, trading plan. So if we go to uh, our Sierra chart, uh, this chart book is based on this particular study uh, and you can see that I tried to make it really straightforward and easy to read. So we either have um, long or short opportunities during a single session and these levels are uh, important for the whole day. We also have studies with dynamic levels and dynamic metrics, but as far as a trading plan goes, this is the core idea behind this. And as you can see, we have a trade windows, the first one in European session, and the other one is uh, in the beginning of the US session. So these are the time windows when uh, there is a highest probability of the move that uh, the trading plan anticipates. And we have also these um, most effective zones where price should reverse, in this case, to the downside. So if we have a day when we are expecting um, market to react to the upside, we would just have the green zone and uh, gray zones, which are in this case a target zones. As you can see, no shorts below, so we are not looking shorts below the, these levels. So we are only looking for shorts in these um, red zones. Uh, this dotted line is uh, a stop loss level. If we were to open below the action pivot, we would uh, take action here and short uh, below it. But as, as you can see, we opened right in the short zone. So this is the stop loss for this. And if we would um, open below it, below this action pivot, then this would be our stop loss. The same idea is uh, during the European um, session. So again, <clears throat> in these two time windows, we are looking for shorts and uh, we don't want to trade in this direction uh, in this gray target zone or below it. And um, this is basically how each day um, trading plan looks like. So what it's actually based on is, first of all, the um, SPX ladder from uh, imini.today terminal. So as you can see, it's a bit crowdy and um, 
a lot of people don't really or, or feel confused at, at, at you know at first glance what's going on here and um, this is why the auto generated trading plan study uh, was created uh, just to have it all um, simplified and um, so this is the the ladder that feeds uh, the data for a trading plan but beside that we have also things which are published in a, in a substack so uh, we have the trend phase which of course are also available in Sierra chart and uh, Ninja Trader these are going to be available uh, as separate studies so whether you want to use just a simplified version of um, of a trading plan and everything else which is not particularly important for a given session is just filtered out uh, but again you can also put on your chart book all these levels and things depending on uh, you know what you wish so these things are accumulated into um, into this study here and basically the uh, what's behind this is all those elements from Substack and eMini Today Terminal now I wanted to just briefly talk about um, how it works in the sense that I don't want you to look at it as a black box it's better to understand why this these things actually work and why the, these things are um, put together in such a way so well, let me go to trading view and um, I'll try to illustrate the idea behind uh, the trading plan based on the action uh, in options market so we have two sessions here um, one is the um, January 11 the second one is uh, January 12th so that's the day which I showed you um, with um, uh, Sierra chart here so this is the January 12th so what these um, metrics are trying to grasp is first of all the uh, behavior and actions made by uh, the dealers so let's say that um, a lot of people uh, or a lot of participants were buying um, calls during that session and the net position of um, of the dealers was um, because they were selling these calls to the market um, they had to hedge the, these these positions uh, by using the ES futures so um, they were buying futures while selling calls right and at the end of the day because we are talking about the zero DT options at the end of the day uh, well they had a bunch of long positions and because it's you know it's it's uh, said that they are trying to be uh, delta neutral or neutral to the market um, at some point when these options expire uh, by the end of the session uh, they are left with a pack of long positions which um, they will have to sell at some point close the uh, these positions and by closing these positions and 
because of the volumes of, uh, of, of these hedges are quite significant, we are expecting these things to happen. So by selling these long positions, they will drag the market uh, down. And the question is when they are doing it and uh, how they do it. And that's basically uh, what the plan, uh, daily plan, tries to um, tries to do. It tries to predict or estimate uh, that situation here. We know that uh, they will use the uh, European session, especially the. Uh, the beginning part of it to um, make that operation and they will at some point drag prices down and also or even more so they will use this uh, uh, US opening to do it so that's the very general description of what is going on here and the mechanics of uh, these moves. Of course, it's uh, it's an estimation. Uh, we cannot, you know, get to the uh, very bone of these uh, transactions being made day before or during the session on options. But from my understanding and a long time research uh, this is what it all comes down to um, so basically when other participants of the market sometimes um, they will join this flow it will produce uh, much larger moves than than this one but even so uh, that effect of the dealers who are unwinding their positions uh, during the more um, during the times when there is more volume so the more liquidity uh, we can capture this in uh, probably like about 90 percent of of the sessions and that's just because the zero dt options which again have to be hedged by dealers and then these hedges have to be unwind. So just to give you an idea of uh, what would happen in the last few months if you would trade just these um, time windows in the direction of the bias. The bias, I mean, uh, you know, either it's it's a short day or uh, bullish day if we would have a green color here and gray um, in the upper side of the chart uh, then these are the results of such strategy this is just trading the bias this is not utilizing the more precision entries because definitely you're not gonna get um, transactions every day if you are using these high probability zones uh, so these are just accumulation of two factors which definitely will make your entries more precise but like i said you're not going to get it every day uh, like this um, so these results are based only on the direction and the time windows so you enter uh, somewhere at the beginning of, uh, of a time window and exit uh, at the uh, at the end of the time window so it's uh, trading in ETH and RTH session so in total like about four hours a day so yeah uh, this is just a uh, a basic introduction to the new study a new feature which is available for uh, Sierra chart and 
soon will be available for Ninja Trader 2. And um, for now, you can go to uh, imini.today website, check out uh, how uh, this offer is um, available right now because this is the early stage. So um, this is just for first uh, 44 users and we'll see what's what's uh, what's next the reason why this is limited for now is simply because every project that I uh, deploy um, is you know it's something that I want to um, have a full control on so I have to uh, you know be present for people who are uh, starting with this, uh, starting to test it, starting to use it. Uh, usually there are a lot of questions, so you know I need to support it. And 44 people is like uh, on average maximum I can handle usually. But hopefully uh, this is going to be um, quite straightforward and there won't be any uh, bugs. Uh, or any significant bugs uh, and that's why this initial time for uh, deploying these projects is needed uh, to you know to debug the the software and um, the connection with the data server and so on so yeah I'll see you in the next video and uh, I will talk a bit more about the rest of the studies and um, and indicators here so take care bye bye